planning to build the best rail and road system in Europe at a cost of £80 billion over the next 10 years was unveiled by the government today. The announcement was made by John Prescott this morning, but the Deputy Prime Minister also had to announce that day-to-day -day running of transport policy would now be in the hands of his number two, Lord Macdonald. Labour's aim is simple and indeed ambitious. It is to transform our transport infrastructure over the next 10 years and to make Britain's transport the rival of any in Europe. The latest step in the peace process took place in Northern Ireland today when ministers from the Irish Republic sat down with members of the new government in Belfast. It was the first meeting of what's called the North-South Council and members will cooperate on areas such as health, education and tourism. Senior London Tories are just about to start a meeting at Conservative Central Office that could see the former Minister Steve Norris reinstated to the shortlist of Tory candidates for Mayor of London. He was thrown off the original shortlist at the weekend, but since then, senior party figures have, it seems, been lobbying in the former Minister's favour. Michael Burke is here at 9 o'clock. I'll be back tomorrow at 6. Thanks for watching this evening. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.